Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Nadine and welcome back to a brand new video. If you're new here, welcome and don't forget to hit that subscribe button and join the family. Um, so basically, I'm back with another um, tips and advice video, giving you guys some tips on how to successfully pass your essays while you're studying midwifery. So here we go, let's get into it. Um, let me just give you guys kind of like a backstory uh, before I get into this video. So I've completed my uh, midwifery degree um, and I have successfully completed it. It's been a very, very long journey. I can tell you now that writing essays was not my favourite part at all. I hated, hated, hated writing essays. I was more good with exams and the practical side of everything. But when it came to writing essays, researching it was just a whole lot of mess it was just a stressful time for me so during my three years studying midwifery i had only one exam only one written exam i had two uh, verbal exams and the rest were essays literally um if i had to count i think i had at least two essays a year is it two essays a year yeah a lot of essays so i was the student that hated hated writing essays i didn't get it i didn't understand it it just wasn't for me but in order for me to pass my essays i had to kind of get on with how to write it and how to successfully pass it so in this video i'll be giving you guys my tips how i learned how to pass my essays giving you guys literally everything that i can remember on how to pass an essay so let's get into it so normally you'll be given um a topic and then they'll give you like an assignment brief you have your initial lesson where it introduces the assignment wh what you need to do they'll go through the mark scheme um they'll go through literally everything you need to do for this essay and then you and then le weeks leading up to submission you kind of have lessons um that will help you write this essay and all the other stuff that you need to research on your own so they give you your essay topic they give you your essay paperwork or your initial basic paperwork that you need and then they give you a deadline um and then yeah you're kind of given all your material to start your research and start writing your essays so i'm just going to give you guys a few tips on how to go about writing your essays and how to successfully pass your essays so the first tip that i'll give you guys is understand the mark scheme understand the requirements of the essay understand literally everything that um, explains what you need to do for this essay how are they how they're going to mark it and what you need to include in this essay you need to read it and understand it so we tend to have a msg which is a module study guide which literally um stated the title of the essay the module code everything the word count was there what you needed to include what went in each section and then at the back used to be um the feet the mark scheme on how they mark it so the mark scheme will be in categories will be excellent um very good good um satisfactory and i think poor or fail is either poor or fail so in each box it explained okay so for you to gain this um excellent you need to um pass so, so you need to pass this 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 and this for you to get a very good you need to pass this 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 so, so that's basically how um our msg or module study guide um was like so we literally had to read through it and make sure we included everything so tip number one that i'll give you is read it and understand it and while you're writing your essay have that in front of you the whole time until like the end of your essay so from the beginning from the point you start writing your essay have that have that to like reference okay so they're saying that i need to add this to gain this mark so you need to have that like while you're writing this essay to make sure that you've included all the points that they're looking for in order for you to pass so that's definitely definitely something that i would recommend you do so another tip that i'll give you guys is use a wide range of like reading material um instead of just using the internet so what i mean by that is use your books 
use your policies use your guidelines use everything you can don't just rely on the internet and don't just rely on google go on databases look at articles look at um <clears throat> academic work that has been written um yeah go into the library and use physical books um or books that are online don't just rely on google don't just rely on websites to for your essays um, it's good to have a wide range of information and sources in order to apply to your essay so that they have like an understanding that you have went out of your way to look at policies to look at guidelines to get out books to look at academic um, articles on the databases so yeah use a wide range of um, resources when you are looking for work to back up your essay also um, adding to that make sure all your um, information or your books your articles um, or your guidelines everything make sure that they are up to date and they are re relevant um, to your essay and um, so they don't go so they're not written for example a hundred years ago 200 years ago make sure that they are up to date I think when I was writing my essay they had to be within 10 years um from the year the year we were in so if it was something that was um if it's if it was something that was out of the 10 year mark i had to also state in my essay why i used that maybe there was no other research that was made you know after that research nothing has been updated so then i can use that but i need to state why um i was using that you know old and out of date research or information so yeah always use information or or material that is you know relevant and up to date so another key point that i would mention is make sure that you um, are correctly referencing your work as you write your essay so you can possibly lose marks if you do if you don't know how to reference properly so they are in my essay there were people available for me to go to and ask for help when it came to referencing i wasn't the best at referencing like when i started university i had no idea what referencing was i was literally so confused but thank god we had like we had um lessons on how to reference they gave us books on how to reference they gave us websites on how to reference they gave us contact details on who we can ask in the library on how to reference literally so if if you don't know how to reference make sure you seek help and you go and find the people that can help you with referencing because if you don't reference correctly you are then losing marks that you don't want to lose and those marks can literally make you pass give you that higher grade so don't don't lose silly silly marks or silly, silly mistakes um, just because you can't reference so make sure you go and find help if you don't know how to reference and yeah so another advice that i'll give you guys is um i got this a lot when i was writing my essays so i would um for example um i would say a keyword like um shrom this is just an example i would say shrom in my essay um and then obviously for me to get a higher mark what they tend to tell me is explain what shrom me like what it, what it means don't just state it and be like okay this woman shrommed um you'll get higher marks if you further explains what that what that word means if that makes sense so what i would say is explain your keywords don't just put a word in your essay without explaining further what it means um if you explain further um a word or a keyword um it shows your understanding and it gives you higher marks so for you to for me to mention a word like shrom will give me like a pass like a basic pass if i go in more depth and explain what shrom is how a woman shrom what it looks like when it occurs if i explain it in more detail and explain what it is and give examples and use um other textbooks or other information to back up what shrom is i will then get an excellent or i will get higher marks rather than just stating it and then leaving it like that with no explanation or what it, what it is so the more you explain the more your tutors will know you have a better understanding of what you're talking about so another advice that i'll give you guys is 
when you're picking um, a topic so in my second year of uni we had the option of picking a topic and then from from the topic you've picked you have to write an essay about it you have to go and research about the topic you picked so one thing i would suggest is if you're given the opportunity to go and research about a topic or write about a topic pick a topic that you're passionate about that you enjoy that you're going to not feel like oh i'm reading about this again like i don't like you know i don't like doing this i don't like doing that but yeah all i say pick a topic that you're passionate about that you like so for example one of my essays it was like a social essay so we had to pick some social if i remember correctly something social to do with pregnancy so i think i had i had picked teenage pregnancy and substance abuse so obviously i'm very fascinated i'm very intrigued with substance abuse and teenage pregnancies so that's why i picked those subjects that's why i picked that as my topic you know there's other topics you can pick like um depression you can pick i don't know anything to do with mental health you can pick you know there's obesity and all of that jazz but i was like no um i'm more interested in pregnancy and substance abuse so i'm more interested in sub substance abuse so because of my interest because i'm passionate about that it allowed me to do all my research for my essay it allowed me to stay focused and I'm just not like oh, oh I'm so you know I was you know willing to do this essay because I'm writing about something that I'm passionate about something that I like something that I enjoy something that I want to know more about so yeah when you get the opportunity to pick a pick a topic a topic for your essay pick a subject for your essay make sure you pick something that you're something that you like and something that you're passionate about something that you're not going to get bored of um, or something that you're not going to get tired of writing about that's one thing I would say. Another advice or tip that I'll give you guys is use um, all the feedback that you get from tutors, that you get from your um, other classmates and use that when you are correcting or rewriting your assignment. So what I mean by this is when I was doing my um, midwifery course, we had a time where we presented our work um, in a presentation form and then the class will give you feedback on if you're on the right lines if you've missed anything out and then your, the tutor will also like kind of semi mark it and, and kind of give you um, a mark and tell you if you're on the right marks give you feedback so one thing I'll say is use that feedback wisely don't just be like mm, you know whatever I've done it now um, I don't want to know what everyone what everyone else is saying use the feedback because they're going to be telling you a, a lot of things that you may have forgotten and that will just be adding to your mark or just bring your mark up because they have given you feedback to help and support you so also if you have failed an assignment um for, for your first attempt and you have failed it use the feedback that they gave you um to to then pass it because you don't want to have to fail it again i think in my yeah in my when i was studying you only had two attempts so you have the first attempt and then your second attempt to pass it but it'll be capped at 40 percent but um if you passed it if you failed it the third time you i think you had to go through this whole this whole process of mitigating and there's a possibility that they're going to allow you to sit sit it a third time or you're just going to get kicked off the course so that's what i would say after you fail it the first time hopefully you guys won't fail it the first time if you just you know stick to my advice um if you fail it the first time which is fine like it's okay there's nothing wrong with that like if you fail you fail and you move on but if you fail it the first time all i say is read the feedback and understand where you went wrong or what you haven't included or what's missing make sure if you don't understand the feedback also ask them to explain the feedback and just make sure that you've included it in your second attempt or in your first attempt however you guys want to do it so yeah so another tip that i'll give you guys is make sure that your essay is correctly structured and that it's not all over the place so when my when i was doing my essays most of the most of the um, comments that i'll get is my essay was all over the place it didn't make sense and it, it wasn't you know in order it was just kind of bits were everywhere and it was just a mess and that was what was you know bringing my marks down so what i would suggest is make sure you structure your essays so do a draft do introduction what goes in my introduction what goes in the main body what goes in the conclusion and all of that and make sure that it's structured it's in sync it makes sense there's not like random things 
in random places and yeah just make sure that it's just in place and you can just ask someone to read it through and see if it makes sense if you haven't just thrown bits in the wrong place and it's just all over the place but yeah make sure your essay is well structured and it makes sense so to go with structure um one thing i would say is make sure your essay is clear whether you're handwriting it like doing a poster or anything make sure it's clearly written or if you're typing it up make sure it's you make sure um you get someone to proofread it make sure your grammar is correct make sure um words made make sense so yeah getting someone to just literally read through your work and essay helps because the spelling mistakes when i was studying spelling mistakes can bring your essay down not too much and it, it, it can't fail you but it just brings your essay down if you're using the wrong words if your spelling if your spelling is off um you know constantly off um and yeah when it just looks looks messy it's not clear they can't read it yeah just make sure it's you know in line with what you're what you're required to do and make sure it reads correctly and make sure the spellings are on point get someone to read it get a few people to read it you read it over and over again the more you read it the more mistakes you'll see and yeah just make sure that it's you know good for you to hand in and pass so also in line with reading the mark scheme and understanding what you need to write for this essay um one thing i would advise is read the objectives the aims and object objectives of your essays so objectives for me when i was writing my essays is objectives are things that i need to include in my essay in order to pass and if these objectives were not included into my essay it would be a straight fail so one thing I learned real quick was to read my objectives while I'm writing my essay make sure that I've met and understood and I've included that objection if I haven't included that objection that means I don't get that pass mark for that section of the essay so read and understand each objective and add it to your essay that's one thing I would highly highly recommend you do so the main thing you need to do to pass any essay or any assignment is understand the topic and understand what they are asking you to do you can easily fail an assignment if you are writing or don't understand the topic that you need to discuss or write about so the main thing is understand your topic if you're writing about teenage pregnancy don't go writing about domestic violence or domestic abuse or substance abuse if your topic is about teenage pregnancy understand it's about teenage pregnancy and write f solely about teenage pregnancy also bring obviously you bring other things in to um you know support support your topics support your findings but your main focus is about teenage pregnancy so you need to understand your topic and what they what you are writing about and do not deviate and write about something completely different when you started writing about for example teenage pregnancy and then you end your essay writing about domestic domestic violence and you haven't linked domestic violence with teenage pregnancy so then that we you just lose marks and then the person that's marking your work thinks that you just don't understand your topic you're going off you know off the point and you're more likely to get very bad marks for not sticking to your topic or you're most likely um will fail your essay if you start with a certain topic and you completely end with a different kind of topic so yeah so know your topic and understand it and know what you're writing about and stick stick to it till the end so another thing that i would say um adding to knowing your topic and making sure you stick to your topic is read around that topic and make sure you gather a, as much information that you can that supports your topic and that is around your topic in order for you to you know not run out of information to add into your essay so what i would say is okay so i've got my topic about teenage pregnancy so now i'm going to get gain and go and collect as much information about teenage pregnancy as i can so that i'm sticking to my topic and i'm not gonna you know not know what to write about or what to say and all of that so make sure you know and make sure you find as many, as much information about your topic as possible so another thing that i would say is make sure you stick within your word count when i was studying midwifery um we had um a certain word count that we needed to 
um, meat um, however we had like a 10% you can go above 10% or below 10% if that makes sense so you can go above your word count by 10 percent or you can go below your word count by 10 percent that's the kind of that's the only lenient thing they had however you didn't fail or pass um if you went above or below but you you lost you lost marks what i would recommend is just to make life a lot easier is stay within your word count and don't go over and if you're way below it just means that you haven't included enough information in your essay and you need to find more information to include so yeah stay in your word count Anyways, my last and final advice that i'll give you guys is make sure you do your assignment on time and early I was a bad student I was the kind of student that left everything till literally the last minute and it didn't help me at all it didn't get me anywhere it just made me more stressful and more anxious so one thing I would say is once you get your assignment start looking for your information start preparing your essay from the beginning allow yourself enough time when i say allow yourself enough enough time it's because you are more likely to get your high marks and successfully pass easy easily successfully pass if you start your essays on time because it allows you it allows you to proofread so many times it allows you to go back and forth with feedback it allows you to find you know find more information you know you may think of things last minute it allows you to add more information just start it on time do not leave it till last minute and do not be rushed when you rush it is when you lose out on mark it's when you forget to include certain things in your essay because you're running out of time and you're stressed okay so one thing i would say is start it on time get it done on time and you'll be great you'll pass easy so thank you guys for watching this video i hope um all these tips and advice helps you guys i hope you found this video very helpful um and yeah i'll see you guys in my next video also if there's any videos that you guys would like to see or you would like me to do please let me know drop me a comment um and yeah i'll definitely see you guys in my next video bye